So this is a tablet where we need to do a uh, charger port replacement, or rather the charger port fell off and uh, there's no way of charging it anymore. And so this is something that happens when the charger port falls off. Uh, what happened here is that the charger port itself came off with the traces that, that it's soldered to. And that can, can be a huge pain in the ass. What to do is first I'm going to clean off all the solder here where the uh, actual uh, casing or whatever of this thing goes. You see these little legs right here are supposed to stick in these holes and we need to clean those off. That's our main structural support. And in this case we have the luxury that we have these test pads right next to the uh, traces that fell off. And we're going to be able to just solder to these little pads right here. Uh, first we're going to clean these uh, leads off and solder a few little uh, mag pieces of magnet wire on there to make jumpers to solder all the way over here. So you're not always going to have the luxury of having these little test pads to solder or two like right next to the board. It's even obvious which one corresponds to which trace that's missing. In the case when you don't have these things, what you have to do is basically scrape off whatever's left of the trace that came off. And they either bridge directly to that little piece that's left or use your multimeter in continuity mode to see where that little piece of trace connects to. Like, for example, put one lead on that trace and just use the other lead to find continuity on the component somewhere on the board and uh, make sure that that's a direct connection and uh, basically bridge all the way to that other component. And that's the only way you can do it if you don't have these little test pads like we do so here. On both, so on both sides of this board, there's a little components near where we're going to be working that could fly off with the hot air. So we're going to go ahead and uh, secure those down with some captain tape. They're on both sides. So this part of the process isn't going to show up on camera too well, but we're going to tin the uh, magnet wire that's going to go on the charge port. Um, that's what we're going to make our bridges out of. And uh, you can see right here, this is our little magnet wire that we're going to use. And so we're going to just tin the tip of it so that it uh, we can solder it onto the charge port and then we're going to cut it to size and tin the other side. Well that's, uh, that's nice and tinned on one side. We're just going to cut off the excess so it's just the right size and we're going to keep doing that a few times till we have enough jumpers to uh, put that charge port back in place. So I realized our old charge port wasn't going to work because it had a missing pin on it and I had to change it and this one's worse because the pins on it are even shorter and harder to solder to. So there's that. So if you don't so if you didn't go insane while doing this, this is what you should end up with. Each of the pins now has a little lead sticking out of it so that we can solder it to the uh, neighboring pads. So in this case we're gonna have to do things a little bit differently because normally you'd place this whole thing where it goes and then just heat up the whole thing and it it would eventually seat. But since we've got the jumpers on this, uh, we can't heat this port right now because the jumpers are going to fall off. So what we're going to have to do is just heat up this part and wait till the solder melts and then drop this in. What I've done is I've gotten rid of the little feet on the bottom and uh, replaced it with solder blobs down here and uh, solder blobs on here. And uh, hopefully what will end up happening is that the uh, once the solder here is molten, we're going to drop this in really quick and the two sides with solder are going to stick together.
So I saw some of my jumpers move. I couldn't quite do it uh, without placing the part on there to heat up a little bit. So I don't know how the jumpers did. I don't think they did too well. So amazingly, everything came out good, no shorts. And now all I have to do is actually solder the little wires to the pads. It's going to be a little bit of a tight fit. I should have tinned those before I did this, but oh well. Uh, and yeah. And there's a the finished product. Not the neatest thing in the world, but uh, I would rather not risk uh, snapping any of the leads off by trying to organize this. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll take a little bit sloppy any day over broken lead and having to do all this crap all over again. So let's test it and see what happens. All right, and this thing is now able to charge properly.